Jetzt kommen wir allerdings schon zum letzten Künstler. Oh, ja. Aber er ist was ganz, ganz Besonderes. Ich bin immer froh, wenn er da ist, weil er hat mit Abstand die weiteste Anreise. Er kommt nämlich aus Motherfucking America. Hier ist für euch Motherfucking David Deary. I wanted to dance with someone. I liked that. Uh, when I was young, uh, my mom said, Oh, when you're older, you, you should be a doctor. I said, No, I'm going to Germany to dance with someone in the front row of Nightwash. <laughs> She said, I think it's easier to become a doctor. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I, I, do, I, do my, I do my stuff in English. Uh, so, apologies to dumb people. <laughs> I'm just telling it like it is. Just telling it like it is. Sometimes German people get upset at me. You know, they come up to me after the show. They say, David, why? Why, David, why? Why English? Why English? We're in Germany. A lot of German people will not understand your English. I say, yeah, well, a lot of German people wear socks with sandals. <laughs> It's not for everybody. <laughs> I think German people speak uh, very good English. Very good, shitty English. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. I overheard a guy telling a story the other day. It was amazing. I was just like listening in because it was so intriguing. The guy said, Yeah, um, then I went to forest. Yeah, I went to forest. Uh, yeah, I went to forest and uh, right away I came onto a man. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Whoa, where's the middle part of that story? Where's the part of the story where you get to know the guy? You take him out for a coffee. Maybe you ask him politely, hello, um, can I please come on you? <laughs> And he said right away, he said right away, what kind of gift does this guy have? Right away, no time needed. He was just like, there he is. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> wow. I love shitty English, I do. I love shitty English. Sometimes I think I live in Germany just for the shitty English. I love it, it's so, I can't wait to go back to New York City and walk into a bakery and just be like, ah uh, yes, hello, can I please become that piece of bread right there? <laughs> Thank you, yes, we see us later. Uh, I love it. Yeah, and I, I live in Berlin now. Uh, before, I lived in, uh, before I lived in Berlin, I lived in New York City. Uh, and, and German people get excited about New York City. Every time I tell them I lived in New York City, oh, <laughs> New York City, wow, wow. David, don't you miss New York City? Don't you miss it? New York City. <laughs> It's true, sometimes I do, sometimes I miss New York City. So now, when I miss New York City, what I do now is I take my bed and I put it in my bathroom. <laughs> and then I invite a friend to come live in the bathroom with me. And then I invite another friend to stand outside and just blast Drake, start at the bottom, like all night long. Just started at the bottom, now we're here. I'm like, shut up, I can't sleep. Started at the bottom, now the whole team's fucking here. Like, shut up. Started at the bottom, now we're here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like it here, I like it, I like it a lot, but uh, German people are a bit passive aggressive. Actually, German people are the most passive aggressive people on the planet. And I'm not saying, that's not an insult, okay? I'm an American, Americans are very aggressive. German people are very passive aggressive. It's just a little bit different, you know? Like for example, if a German person gets mad at you, right? They just go, hey, 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 hello! Hey, hey! And if an American person gets mad at you, they just go, hey, hey! <laughs> That's a big difference. That's a big difference. Seriously, here's the proof right here, people. I have proof that German people are the most passive aggressive people on the planet right here. I have proof right here. Uh, you guys recognize this, but I had no idea what this was. This is a note that you might get 
on your bicycle, for example, it says, Dein Fahrrad behindert den Zugang zu den Tonnen. Bitte stellen Sie woanders ab. Danke, Bolz, Hausmeister. Now I translated this uh, into English. So in English it says, Hi, I hate my fucking job so much. My wife's a bitch and my, little, my kids are little assholes and the only joy I can get in life is putting these shitty little notes on people's bicycles. Plus, plus, I have a weird name, Bolts. <laughs> the guy's name is Bolts. Seriously, the guy's name is Bolts, Housemeister Bolts. What the fuck? That sounds like a hip hop name to me. Yo, 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 was geht up, Deutschland? Ich bin Hausmeister Bolts, das ist mein DJ Hammer. Wir sind Hammer and Bolts, yo. Mach den Hinterhof sauber. Mach den Hinterhof sauber. Mach den Hinterhof sauber. Hausmeister Bolts ist so motherfucking sauber. Yeah! You know, you're supposed to tell a really great joke at the end, and that was a really great joke, and that should have been the end, and it was the end, and it is the end. But uh, I was thinking about telling another joke, but then I was like, you know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> so that's my last joke. Thanks a lot, everyone. Seriously. No, seriously, fuck you guys. Seriously. Seriously, fuck you guys. No, ser especially that guy laughing. Fuck you, man, for laughing at me saying fuck you. All right? No, I'm serious. Fuck you, man. You don't understand. You're German. You don't understand irony, okay? Fuck you, seriously. Dad, we're fighting afterwards. We're fucking fighting. I'm shooting you. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a nice night. Thank David you. motherfucking Deary! Nice watch. David nice Deary! Nice watch. Yeah, I even.